up everybody? I am post class at my home studio and I have had some questions recently come up that I wanted to make sure I addressed. I've had a lot of new people joining the class, which makes my heart explode. Thank you so much. New faces, new to eccentrics, new to eccentrics with me. However, whatever the case may be, I love having you and I love that you're enjoying these workouts. Thank you. Uh, the, one of the questions was, how do the workouts work in terms of getting feedback? So for example, maybe you've taken other fitness classes in person, or maybe some people are still able to give individualized attention via their screen. That's not something I feel like I can do. Number one, I cannot really see your movement well enough in the little two by two inch box on my screen. Even if I had a huge computer uh, TV screen, with everyone on there, I cannot see with the detail I need. And because the workout I teach really isn't about how you look, it's about how things feel, I only get so much information from watching you. I really need to have a conversation with you about how the movement feels to you. So like I say in all of my classes, one of the, the pillars of the Eccentrics workout is that we don't do anything that hurts. So as you're doing the workout, as long, even if you're brand new, less, you know, especially if you're less, if you're brand new, less is more. Try to approximate what I'm ex trying to describe for you to feel by making something like the shape that I'm suggesting doing with my own body, but remembering that the version I'm doing is bigger and potentially more intense than you need to do it to get the comparable or the, what we, the proportional amount of intensity for stretch, strengthening, and challenge to your physical body on the day that you're doing it, okay? So keeping it less is more, and trying to really hone in on the physical sensation that I'm encouraging you, encouraging you to try to feel, not the shape that it looks like you should try to make, okay? So that's number one, doing it in that way. Then, if you make a note to yourself in class, like, hmm, I'm not feeling what she's talking about. Either you don't feel a sensation that I describe. First of all, sensation is a little bit of an awkward thing to describe with words, right? It's a little abstract, so it might be that we're feeling sort of the same thing, and I'm describing it with words that don't register for you. First of all, teach me something. Come and tell me what you're feeling, and then I'll try to figure out, I wonder if that's, if we're feeling the same thing. It's like when we look at a color and we both see orange, but are we really seeing the same thing? We're calling it the same thing. It really kind of helps to figure out with a little bit more nuanced discussion. So first we're gonna figure out what are you feeling? And as long as what you're feeling isn't dangerous, it's not a pain, it's not uh, pinching in your, in your spine, you're not getting nerve pain, you're not getting joint pain, it's muscle stretch, right? It's healthy strengthening muscle stretch. You're feeling your connective tissue, which is really, our connective tissue is where most of our, or is where our, the sensory nerves, the vast majority of our sensory nerves are that we're feeling that potential warmth and heat and stretch. That could be a fairly new sensation to your body. That's the eccentrics in eccentrics class. Okay, that's the in eccentric stretch and contraction in eccentric. So while it's a totally natural thing for your body, you might not do it all the time. And that's great. That's why the class is such awesome cross training to the rest of your life and any other sport you do, because it's not what you always do but it might be an unfamiliar sensation. So this is a long way of saying, explore the things you're feeling. It might be new, but as long as it's not painful and as long as it doesn't lead to like uh, some sort of soreness that's like not just muscle soreness, then just make a note. Be like, okay, next class, I might make some adjustments. But in the meantime, make a note and ask me after class. Ask me after class, or we can always get online and have our own personal call at a different time if right after class doesn't work for you. And we can go through the movements one-on-one. -on -one. All right, so that was what I should have said at the beginning. I'll put it in the comments of this video so that you don't have to watch 10 minutes just to find out that I'm not going to give you feedback mid-class. I'm going to talk to you after class, and of course we can all hang out, and if the questions aren't uh, sensitive to anybody, then I love that everyone can learn from each other's questions, or if it's just a one-on-one -on -one consult and we talk offline and we, we make some discoveries and you make some adjustments. I'm, I love when you guys ask questions because then I have the chance to come on here and anonymously respond to your question because it's very likely other people have it and it just never occurred to me to address it. So thank you and I welcome you to that option um, of following up with me. I love making the time for that. By email if you'd rather text, uh, but sometimes it's more efficient to just get on and talk about it. So. With that in mind, love you guys. See you in class. Ask more questions than not. Be sure you're doing the movement safely and for maximum benefit in your body. And never he hesitate to ask. Love you and see you in class.